Okay, the, this is an unboxing video about uh, uh, a book by a famous astronomer. This astronomer from, is a Slovak astronomer, from the former Czechoslovak. Uh, he has written the best book on the uh, maps of the you know moon, uh, the atlas of the moon. His name is Antonin Rockl. Unfortunately, this, his book has been published in several editions. He has. He doesn't, he has, he's dead now, when 2016 he passed away. But he didn't approve the earlier editions. The later edition is 2012. It was published in the, I think in the, in his own native language. Uh, I cannot find it anywhere, but uh, it's not of any use to us anyway, if we cannot read it. The latest edition before that was 2007, by, published by Sky and Telescope magazine. That is ridiculously expensive. The edition before it, Hamlin one, is also expensive. So the best uh, next choice is to get one of his smaller books called Observing Moon and Mars and Venus. And uh, the tiny one is a, a bridge version of that uh, map. Those maps in the uh, on those expensive books are available. I bought it, I think, for 30p or something in the uh, internet, in an auction site. And... Uh, I'm going to use it for a telescope. Two copies of the same book, but one f taking with me to the field. I'm mostly a visual observer. I mean, astrophotography needs some, a lot of photographs. Then at the end of the day, uh, uh, it needs a lot of things. Above all, it needs electricity, position, a backyard or somewhere that you can really put it there. So I'm not going for astrophotography at the moment. I'm a visual observer. I needed a moon map. There are moon maps out there. You can buy a lot of things, but uh, this was fit for my purpose. Cheap and easy to take to outdoors. Let's open it. Okay, I've now opened the package and look, look at this true moon. Yeah, a concise guide in color moon, Mars, and Venus. And what you see is a map of the moon in detail, one of the most detailed maps of the moon. It's the average version. The best thing, after, if you cannot afford that main book is this one. The difference is that his, his work are very rockl work, Antonin Rockl works are very accurate. And to the details that you can see here is all recorded in the photographs. And uh, the best photographs you can have. So very impressive work in that sense. Most of it is uh, taken by the moon. Is it? Most of it is moon actually. That's good. That's great. This makes this book really great for visual observation of the moon. I think they should call it moon, moon, <laughs> lunar map. That is amazing. This is most of the book is moon. Oh, I love this. If you don't want to buy the, spend a ridiculous amount of money, above 100 pounds for the Atlas of the Moon, buy this one. 30p <laughs> or even cheaper. Look, I bought two copies of it. And they look the same exactly. So one of them comes with me to the allotment and field and everywhere that I want to observe the moon, and the other one stays in home as a desk, coffee table, book.